Hello and welcome from Budapest. This is Hungary Reports from Public Media M1 with the latest news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin in English. I'm Arpad Sertzi. Thanks for joining us. And we start with the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Hungary's foreign affairs and trade minister announced that Hungary continues to stand by its position that it will not send arms through Hungary into the war-torn country. Peter Siato made his statement in Luxembourg at a foreign affairs council meeting of the European Union. There, it was decided that, among other things, the EU would spend another 500 million euros on its so-called European Peace Facility Package, which is being used for the first time ever to fund lethal weapons and to send them into a war zone. Siarto pointed out that Hungary is urging to have a full investigation about the horrific acts that happened in the city of Bucha and that those who are responsible be brought to justice. Regarding energy policy, he said that Hungary will continue to ensure that it has necessary oil and natural gas supplies and therefore will not vote in favor of EU sanctions against gas and oil deliveries from Russia. He justified that by saying that such sanctions would bring the country's economy to a standstill and create huge losses. Sunday saw more than 10,000 refugees arrive from Ukraine into Hungary. About 1,000 of them went on to Budapest by train, with a third of them being children. The police already issued residency permits for more than 1,200 of those arriving. Since the beginning of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, almost 600,000 people have entered Hungary. Border reception centers there have been successfully handling the load. The president of Hungary and current head of the military, Janos Ader, received a report on the state of the military by Army Chief Romulus Rusin Sendi. After their meeting, Romulus Rusendi said that as a result of the war in Ukraine, his troops are now mainly helping police forces as well as dealing with migrants on Hungary's southern border. He also talked to President Ader about NATO plans to have permanent forces on the eastern borders of the military alliance, which would include Hungary. Well, a poetry marathon was held again on occasion of Hungary's National Poet Day. Poets read their works over a 12-hour period at the Marble Theater at Public Media's Magyar Radio in Budapest. There, reporters could also interview the poets, and every hour, visitors could also listen to poems pertaining to peace. Nice idea. And that's all for now from Hungary Reports. But please don't forget, you can watch the show live every night at about 11.15 p.m. Central European time. You can also catch the program in repeats and online. Please stick around if you can. We also have news broadcasts in German, Russian and Chinese. Thanks very much for watching and Visot Natasha.